Tia upload four times a week, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. I do mostly synthetic, wave related content here. We're multicultural, we're inclusive. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you have, you're one of my little doll babies. Hi, doll baby. How are you? So happy that you are here. In this video, I am going to give you some tips and tricks on how you can set the part of a wig that is not heat safe. So I do have videos on setting the part of a heat safe wig, but sometimes we get wigs that are not heat safe. Um, and so like, what are we going to do if, you know, the parting, especially if it's um, on a filament, the parting can be all over the place. And so how do you fix that without using heat? Well, this is going to be the video. Okay. And it's going to give you the tips that you need for the problem that you're here for. Let's get to it. Okay, so we're doing another voiceover. I am using Rockwell Welch's Well Played for this video. There's a full review coming up on her, but there's also uh, some other comparison videos. So there's a lot of videos on this wig. So this is a heat safe wig, but I am giving you all the details on what you would do if it wasn't heat safe or if you didn't want to use heat. So right now I sort of twist that hair back and clip it down. That's just my preference so that the hair sits a little bit back away from my face. There's also a little section in the back that I wanted to lay a little bit flatter. So you're going to see me put another clip towards the back. Once I get her all clipped down, then I'm going to use the Tressalore Wig Rocks to spray. Uh, I really like this because it is pretty lightweight. And I'm going to just go ahead and spray it down. And then I am going to use my Revlon Air Kit for synthetic wigs. I have a full video on this. But what I really love about this is you can see you can have a cool setting. So there's like low, high, and then also cool. So I go ahead and dry those fibers down from the wig wax. I did feel like I needed a little bit of extra hold. So I used my regular Aussie freeze spray. That's what I always love to use. And then in doing that, I just go ahead and readjust that clip and start to dry again. Remember, I'm just using the cool setting on this dry. There's no heat at all. There's just air. I really love this and you need to check out my full review on this because there's multiple different ways that you can use this particular tool. It's also very lightweight. Of course I had to dance. It's also very lightweight so it's um, easy to use over time. Once it's dry I went ahead and combed through and right now I'm going to put my powder in the part. I think I'm using Laura Geller's like baked bra you know the baked foundation. So I use my tool and go ahead and just put it into the part right there in the opening just so that it looks a little bit more natural. I'm going to pull out that second clip, comb everything through. As you can see, it's laying down flat and in the place that I want it. And I'm really happy and it's all done with no heat. So if you like these type of videos, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.